Hey, it's Dana from Everly and Monet, and I just finished doing an install. I've actually done three installs today, so the fact that I'm still standing is a whole other thing. But I'm here in Kelly Katz and Jake Katz Nursery for their baby girls coming in a couple of months, and I'm so excited to reveal this nursery because it is stunning. Every little detail is just perfect. I'm gonna start with our best view right here, which is of these two cribs. I chose Newport Cottages for their cribs just because they have a sweet enough detail, but not overly girly, um, and a nice way to kind of give a vintage feel, which also adding a little bit of glam. In here, we did bedding from Baby Chic. I absolutely love the alligator fabric here with a little bit of the glitter and the mint. So this mint and the pink together is so pretty. And these are the rail guards, which again, I think add a lot of beauty to a room and to a nursery, especially now that nurseries are gonna be really cold and too modern, it adds a little bit of the sweetness with it. We took the skirt all the way down to the ground. I think this little detail is important so that you're not seeing things underneath here. And even if you look at the curvature and the scallop of the side rails are really pretty. And while we're over here, the caning on this crib is just to die for. Again, a vintage, kind of old school little trick that we can use, which is really good. These mobiles just remind me of Neiman Marcus and Chevy Chase with the butterflies cascading down. She found these on Etsy and they are just perfect for this room. If we look up, we see the window treatments here. These were done by Lori McFarlane of Picture Perfect Windows. We chose a balloon scalloped balance with again, a little bit of mint and this really wonderful Fiona fabric, which really just gives it a little bit of oomph there. Can we talk? I mean, I don't, I, I don't even know what you say about these Moses baskets. These are Lulla Smith beautifully done Moses baskets with this beautiful embroidered overlay on these. There's something about Moses baskets and baby that's just quintessential. And I remember when I had my first I knew I wanted Moses baskets. And this is gonna be so perfect for these baby girls. And I was telling their parents that these are not gonna expire. My girls who are six and four, all their babies are in here, their stuffed animals are in here, so they can really stay with the room. So it's a fun investment. We always like mixing materials and mixing some things. So the Katz family already had a couple of really great furniture pieces. So we said, how come we can't just pizzazz those up a little bit more? So she had a six drawer dresser already. And then we purchased crystal knobs from Newport Cottages to kind of give it a nice look and make it modern and kind of go with everything else we were doing. We added the peanut changer from Kikaroo to the top. And then this really great detailing here that this local artist who painted this did was so great with a little bit of zebra here. And then as we swing, we'll see also in the armoire, she refinished this armor. I mean, I think this armor was like black before. So the fact that we able to paint this white and then put this right here in the doors with the crystal knob that all go with it. Lastly, on this like my last couple of things. One, this is the glider from Four Seasons. I know it's a little traditional these days, but this fabric, also the fact that this is downfield, made in North Carolina, this is a great chair. This chair is gonna last forever. It's a slip cover, they can clean it. It's just, it's just heavenly, as Kelly said earlier today. And our last little detail here is the Newport Cottage Max bookcase. Now the Max is a very modern collection, but we painted the back in this really great coral, which is our pop color. We added the crystal knob to it. So I think the juxtaposition of having something very vintage, like the Hillary collection, with the max makes a really nice balance in there. My last things I just wanna show you guys before we leave is people always ask me, how do we organize for baby? How do I fix the drawers? What do I do? Keeping the dresser nice and clean is really good. And then you open the drawers and here are all your newborn baby diapers. Perfect. And then in here, going to the container store, going to Ikea, Getting all these little boxes where you can put all the little teeny weeny socks, all the things in here is great. And I can't speak enough about having all the clothes folded out this way so you can see it. Every drawer here 
it's so easy to find things. Again, using the container store to separate the drawers make everything so easy for you to find um, everything for the baby. Small little details that we can all add inexpensively to really make things really great. Well, I cannot wait to fully do the whole reveal of this nursery. The parents were amazing. Working with them was so wonderful. The family was so good. So when a space comes together like this, I just can't wait to show everybody. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you all real soon.